Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the What's Next on Lamont Roach Jr., the newly crowned WBA Super Featherweight Champion at 130 pounds following his controversial uh, split decision victory over uh, Hector Luis Garcia as he captured his first world title on November 25th on Showtime Pay-Per-View. Um, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. Now, the reason I say controversial is because it was controversial. It, it's not that he didn't deserve to win the fight. You know, it was close and it was close enough to call either way. But it's controversial because the knockdown in the 12th round that Lamont Roach scored over Garcia was was a punch behind the head and it was a clear punch behind the head the referee ruled it a knockdown though you know i mean and it's going to be tough to over you know you can't overturn a referee's knockdown call which is sad because this is why we need replay in sports but um i you know it, it's tough because that fight ends up being a draw and garcia keeps the title if that knockdown doesn't doesn't get counted because it was a punch behind the head um so we'll see uh, what happens, you know, going forward uh, with that, um, you know, but it was a good, solid performance out of, out of Roach in a fight that I personally thought he was going to lose, you know, um, but I did think he could be in it, and I'm glad he was in it because I like Lamont Roach, um, but uh, he won the match. He's the new WBA champion, so now the big question is what's next for Lamont Roach Jr.? Well, first off, I really believe a rematch is... It, it, it could definitely happen. I'm not saying going to say it's likely because you never know what the governing bodies are going to rule. But the fact that it was a close fight and that knockdown highly impacted the fight, I think there's a strong chance, a decent to strong chance that the WBA orders an automatic rematch. I think they should. I think these two guys should fight again. It was a close fight, and because that 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 was not a, a an actual knockdown, I think that should at least give Hector Luis Garcia a chance to regain the title for a rematch. So that's my opinion there on that. So that's getting, uh, you know, now, now let's run through everybody else in the top 10 and see what could be possible. Well, first off, before we do that, Lamont Roach Jr. is now a promotional free agent. After spending his whole career with Golden Boy, he is now a promotional free agent. So he can pick who he wants to fight for. Um, which makes it big, or he can kind of be open to fighting anybody right now at 130. It makes it interesting. So we start at the top. We start with Emmanuel Navarrete, the WBO champion. Um, not sure Navarrete wants to take on a guy like Roach. He seems to have other better options, and I think um, I think there's a chance he he would fight Robson Concise out next. But I wouldn't rule out Navarrete being interested in a unification bout, especially a guy that would probably be willing to work with um with top rank um then there is uh you know we look at oscar valdez a former champ um i don't think i don't think valdez uh wants to get back in there with a guy the style especially the style of lamont roach even though lamont roach is not a big power puncher i just think a guy that boxes and moves i think valdez after suffering two losses in his last three fights he wants to you know kind of explore more of a um you know like more of a tune-up bout and shaking off some rest first um but i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't rule it out either i think it's a decent matchup right here and um you know i wouldn't completely rule it out but i don't think it's a fight i think it's a fight roach might want because valdez has a name he might ask for a fight like that but i don't think it's a fight that valdez would want next then there's ibf champion joe cordina well i mean damn uh they were already trying to make Oshaki Foster and um and what's his name if in uh in Joe Cordina, if uh if what's his name could swing in Eddie Hearn and get Lamont Roach Jr. to fight for him with the zone, uh, Eddie Hearn seems to have maybe the most guys um in his stable, but two of the champions are with top rank, so it just depends on on which ones take a legitimate shot, but. I do believe Joe Cordina would be interested in a fight with um, Lamont Roach Jr., but he does have 
a lot of legitimate options right now, Joe Cordina. So I'm gonna lean towards less likely, but I wouldn't completely roll it out either because it would be a unification belt. Uh, then there's Oshaki Foster, the WBC champion. Um, I could see unification, but I think Lamont Roach would have to sign with top rank, which wouldn't be the worst. I mean, he wouldn't have to, but I, but I, I don't think it'd be the worst uh, scenario here because two of the champions right now at 130 are with top rank. So if Lamont Roach were to sign, um, you know, here with top rank, there's a decent, uh, a decent amount of options there for him to fight and a unification at the very minimum with Oshaki Foster would be there. So, um, but I'm not sure it's the matchup that the promotion would want to make right now because there are bigger names, better, more maybe profitable matchups, um, even though this would be a unification bout. So I'm going to lean towards the less likely on this one as well. Then Hector Luis Garcia, a rematch. As I said, I think there's a good, strong chance we see a rematch between these two guys because, you know, the controversy from what happened on the night of the fight. I'm leaning towards that being more likely than anything, but we'll get to that at the end of the video. Um, you got Shavkat Rakimov. Um, I don't think this one's likely just because Rakimov is fighting in an IBF final eliminator next. Um, so I think he's going to focus on that because he wants to get Joe Cordina back in the ring in a rematch. But again, another one, uh, you never know. He might forego, forego that one if he can get an opportunity at Roach. But I really do believe Roach would have to sign with Matchroom and Eddie Hearn, which again, there's, there's options there. And if Roach were to sign with them, then that gives Matchroom a second championship belt as well. Then there's Robson Consaisal. Um, I don't, I mean, it, if Emmanuel Navarrete decides to go to 135 or not fight come Saisal in a rematch, then I really believe Lamont Roach could, could maybe swing in if he signs a top rank and take on a guy like Saisal. But I don't know if it's a, if the, if it's the best matchup for each other, but also for the fans, I, I don't, I just don't know if it's a fight that would sell. So I'm going to lean towards the less likely here. Uh, Zelfa Barrett, uh, you know, I don't see this one. Again, one of those matchups that's not exactly a fan-friendly matchup. So um, I I'm not sure the promoters would go for it. And again, I think he would have to sign with something with uh, with Matram and Eddie Hearn. Um, you know, and then there's uh, like Mark Maxile, I heard, is trying to land a title fight. Now, that would be possible if Lamont Roach would sign with the PBC he could probably get, uh, he could probably take on Max Ayo, which is a big fight, you know, because Max Ayo brings the Filipino fan base to the table, which is significant. But um, I'm leaning towards the less likely there as well. So overall, what do I think Lamont Roach is going to do next? I really highly believe a showdown with uh, Hector Luis Garcia rematch with him is probably the most likely. Um, and then the other obstacle, whether it is or isn't Garcia, is which promoter does he sign with? And I think that's gonna be significant. He might, if, if the WBA orders a rematch between the two, if they decide to do that, then he might wanna wait on who he signs with. Because here's a kicker. The PBC, has, if he were to sign with them, they have the least amount of options at 130 right now. Um, top rank and match room have the most that you can get a fight in here at 130. But then at that, you know, uh, Roach has been so far a career 130 pounder. Would he want to move to 135 at some point and, and take his chances there with more of the star power? It just depends on what he wants to do next. But um, that's going to factor in uh, big time if, like I said, the rematch with uh, Garcia doesn't happen. But I honestly believe that the WBA, I'm just, this is just my call. They're going to order a rematch between uh, Lamont Roach Jr. and Hector Luis Garcia. But we'll see what happens. But that's it. That's what I got. That's my what's next on the newly crowned WBA super featherweight champion of the world at 130 pounds, Lamont Roach Jr. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.